Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Carter James Ranch here at the very end of March on Easter weekend. It's Saturday evening. We got a warm one. We're about 73 degrees today, so it's been an unbelievable day. Thought I'd walk through the herd. Uh, we started calving, so I'm just kind of doing my herd checks for the evening, and then I will be back probably about midnight to double check on everyone, make sure everyone's doing okay. Um, these two cows right here, the one on the left is 745, and the one on the left is 0711. They should be calving any day now, although you keep watching for signs of them bagging up or, you know, puffiness in the back. 745 here on the left isn't showing much. 0711 is starting to bag up um, and getting a little swollen around back. So last summer when we turned the bulls in, I would track on my phone when I saw Comanche either bird dogging somebody or mounting someone just would so have an idea and those two saw a mountain I mean 0711 is wide so open they calve soon so far we've had six calves we'll get to them here in a minute five of which have been heifers so we're on fire here in the South Pole herd with with heifers So we are still ro unrolling some hay, not as much obviously as we were before. We are starting to graze, but like I mentioned, we, we are overstocked still here at the ranch. Uh, we've slowed down our rotations a little bit just to try to give different parts of the ranch a chance to grow. The plan is to get everyone calved out and then we'll start using our redemption property. Don't want to move everyone out there to a new property uh, and have have everyone calving out there so I want to make sure it's um, you know it's easy and it's known for everybody so so unfortunately we are still unrolling a little bit of hay but doing some grazing at the same time but everyone is doing really really well overall we still have some lingering effects of some ringworm that came on Belle right here one of our bottle calves she had it the worst you see that that circle right on our forehead so we have her and one other animal that um, got hit pretty good with it and she's finally starting to grow grow hair back on her face so this gal right here number 30 with the clipped horns she's a really nice cow she's given us uh, let's see what what have you given us yet? Yeah, we have a she, when I bought her she had a, a heifer that came with her There was a there was a calf and then last year. She gave us a, a bull. So he's in our meat program He's a steer, but she's getting close. She's getting close any day now She's one that really shows she bags up and she gets real puffy in back. So um, You know, but last year she puffed out with her bag and around back for boy a good a good week before she calves. So she's been like this for two or three days. So I expect her in the next couple days, but we'll we'll keep an eye on her every day as well. So this gal right here with the ear tag G24. I need to change out her ear tags. This is one of the gals we bought that was from uh, Tennessee. So she's got a huge bag. She actually already calved. We'll show you her her bull calf she's the sole bull calf that we've had and he's a he's a looker he's real slick and he's handsome so uh, this right here is something you don't like to see we've got a bunch of young bulls and steers chasing after what's supposed to be a fall bred cow so obviously she did not get bred by Comanche so I'm not sure what was going on there but I don't think those young bulls are big enough to get the job done well, at least that's what I'm hoping. If they are, I got a problem. So I'm just hoping that they don't they don't get it done. So here's one of our calves. This is number 201. She's a pretty heifer. Let me see if she'll give us a, a look. Hey girl, you gonna show off? She's out of one of the, the bred animals we bought out of Tennessee. So she's a pretty girl. Has a real nice mom. So good looking calf. Let's head over out here in the in the pasture where all the other cow or uh, calves are, are hanging out. I'm gonna try to get some footage of all these calves without having them get up. 
going to get bright here for a minute as I walk around. So this is this bull calf right here from G24. Let me zoom in on him. He is real, real slick hided. He's grown quite a bit. He's gotten big. So he's a good looking calf. Good mama. Easy to tag her. This calf right here is a heifer. That uh, So he came out of Tennessee. This little one came out of Tennessee. She's very unique. She's got uh, a little white sock on her what, back left foot. And then she's got a little white on her tail. Now you can notice she doesn't, she's not been tagged yet. She's pretty friendly, but her mom was up the hill. Her mom is pretty aggressive, pretty aggressive. Now, as the calf gets a little older, her mom is chilling out. I've just decided I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna try tagging her until I can get her up into the corral and just make sure mom, I don't, I don't make mom go nuts. But, you know, you don't like when cows are aggressive one of my big issues is I wish just when you buy things pri uh, private treaty directly from another farm you just wish they would tell that to you but I've realized that some people don't tell you everything so if she's aggressive towards me I know she'll be aggressive towards predators but it's just one thing you don't have to I don't like walking through the herd having to think about who I'm who I'm walking by or whose calf I'm walking by so so here I am heading up to the nursery here in hay. <laughs> These three are laid out in some hay. So I'll just bend down here and we'll do some close-ups. So what's really cool, okay, so that one in the back there, she's just born today. She was born today. This little gal was born yesterday. Yep, 207. And that's 96 M and then right here this little gal was born two days ago super nice so this is this calf right here is homegrown this is out of Comanche our white face bull and in the back there 96 M is out of Comanche as well so number 60 his mom is is, is named Nona she's a great little little south pole and then 96's mom is right over here hanging out she's kind of a bigger framed well not, not not tall but just a really fat south pole but super nice so this is an update on what's going on with calving so far it's been a good good season the weather's been unbelievable pretty warm we could sure use a little more rain as we always say and then with the wagyu herd we've had four calves in the wagyu herd uh, three of them have been bulls and we've had one heifer and Diablo, our bull, we've had two, our first two homegrown calves there, two bulls he's given us, so they'll go into the meat program. Most likely they'll go into the meat program. I guess I shouldn't say that. We'll, uh, we'll let them kind of go, and maybe we'll sell them as bulls, but if they don't cut it as bulls, they'll definitely go in the meat program. So, so that's kind of the update. We've been pretty busy with lambing as well. I'll do a lambing video. We've had 10, 10 lambs so far. Everyone's doing really well. Healthy, got some very unique coloring coming out with the Katahdins. So, real happy with how March has been going. And hopefully the next week or two we'll have a lot more babies dropping. So, appreciate you tuning in. Just want to do a quick video, touch base, let you know what's going on here with Carter James. So, hope you guys have a great Easter weekend. Do right in the eyes of the Lord, not in your own eyes. And we'll see you in the next video.